Fecoemulsification emulsification in high myo. This is a case of a 55-year-old female patient who is a known case of pathological myopia. She came with complaints of gradual diminution of vision in her left eye since the last six months. On examination, she had developed nuclear cataract. After thorough examination, she was planned to undergo phaco emulsification and IOL implantation in the same eye. Her actual length was 30.5 mm. Planned IOL power was minus 4 diopters. Topical anesthesia was given for this patient. Retrobulbar or peribulbar blocks were avoided due to increased risk of globe perforation in high myopes. A clear corneal incision is made using a crescent blade. Side port is made. Anterior chamber is entered using 2.8 mm beveled up keratome. Air bubble is injected. Dispersive viscoelastic is injected into the anterior chamber to remove air bubble. Overfilling of the anterior chamber is avoided. Also, leakage through incision sites and frequent collapsing of the anterior chamber are avoided in order to prevent excess movement of the iris and the vitreous. Using a 26 gauge bent cystitome, capsular excess is initiated. Utrata forceps is used to complete the capsular excess. High myopes have deeper anterior chambers which can produce greater parallax effect which can affect judgment of size and centration of the rexus. Also, further intraoperative manipulations can be difficult due to this parallax effect. Hydrodissection and multiple hydrodelineations are performed. Then visco is injected above the nucleus. High myopes have lower scleral rigidity. Therefore, with more infusion of the fluid, the sclera gets stretched more readily. This causes pain as well as LIDRS syndrome. Lens iris diaphragm retropulsion syndrome, simply called as LIDRS, is an iridocapsular contact leading to reverse pupillary block, deep anterior chamber, pupillary dilation and pain. To avoid pain and LIDRS, low pressure settings are preferred. Those are low infusion pressure, low intraocular pressure, and low bottle height. Faco emulsification is initiated. Faco chop is done to emulsify the nucleus. Cortex is loosened up using hydrocannula and then aspirated using IA probe. Here you can observe that reverse pupillary block of LIDRS. Using Sinsky's hook, the pupillary margins are elevated to allow fluid flow past the pupil. Posterior capsula polishing is performed. Visco is injected to form anterior chamber and bag. A three-piece acrylic IOL is preferred in order to prevent formation of PCO. High myopes have increased risk of retinal detachment if they undergo YAG capsulotomy. Hence, it is better to use IOLs with the least risk of PCO formation. IOL is implanted in the sulcus. An optic capture is done in order to prevent decentration of the IOL. Visco is removed from the AC. Primary and secondary incisions are hydrated.
intracameral antibiotics are injected. Thank you.